Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Since the weather is very very bad outside, it rained all week and there's no way in hell I could ride my motorcycle, I've decided to make a very interesting video for you. Because I found an issue with the GoPro Hero 11 and I've also fixed it. So beginning of all the seasons I take all my cameras and I do uh, an update and I did for the GoPro Hero 11. The last or the latest update for the GoPro Hero 11 is the 2.10 released in March and it is, it is written that it fixes the error that prevents you to film using an external power bank or a device like the GoPro Volta. Okay, so I'm, I was thinking, okay, finally this is fixed. I could film uh, using my GoPro Hero 11 um, with the power bank and I could have the power all day like I used to have with the GoPro Hero 8. Well, I did the update, but nothing really happened. In fact, the GoPro Hero 11 without the cage, without the media mod, was not being uh, powered up and um, used and even more record with the external power bank. Okay, so then I did some research and there is a way. And I found a way and I want to show it to you and I will show it to you using my tablet where you want, to, where, where you need to go what do you need to install? And it's a very easy fix and it fixes the problem and I will show you. All right guys, so I will take my tablet uh, because I can easily record the screen for you to see where you need to go, what you need to do. Of course, you can do this using a PC uh, or of course your Mac, uh, whatever is uh, your preference. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get started. What we need to do is first to go on the official GoPro site. So we will do that just now. GoPro.com. Okay, so in here we have the official GoPro site. Okay, let's accept the cookies. Now here you have to go to support and to product software and updates. What you need to do is select your device like I did for mine. So as you can see the release was in the March of 2023 and the name is 2.10. The update is 2.10. You have the possibility to update your camera for macOS or Windows using a manual procedure which is very very easy. Basically what you need to do is to take out your uh, SD card or your mic micro SD card, sorry, and to copy this update on the root directory of the micro SD card, put it back into the camera, power your camera on, and that's it. The update will be done in a few minutes. But after that, of course, your GoPro will still not work. So let's get, get back to the main page. And what you need to search is, on my tablet, I have to go to support. From support, you need to go to GoPro support. And it opens communitygopro.com. And from here, on the tablet, okay, on the PC and on the Mac, it might be uh, different but you have to search for GoPro Labs here on the left bottom corner, okay? So you need to look for GoPro Labs. Here is all the magic happening. Okay, so now we are here on this page, uh, which is written get, getting started, okay? You have to press get started. It's like that on, uh, on the tablet. And then you have to select your video. In my case, is the Hero 11 Black here on the bottom. Okay, so what you need to do is then select your camera. It's very easily written here on how to install and use GoPro Labs firmware. 
then you have to download the GoPro Labs firmware, but first you need to select your camera, which is the 11 Hero Black. And then let's get back on the main camera because I need to explain the, for the following steps. Now, once you have selected uh, your camera, in my case, the GoPro Hero 11, it's basically a firmware update. As you saw, it's on the official GoPro webpage, so it's nothing fishy. There you will find a zip file. You have to unzip that file and then you will find a file called update or named update. You have to copy that file on the root directory of your microSD card just like you did when you updated for the version 2.10. You just copy and paste it there. With your camera turned off, you have to insert your microSD into the um, into the camera, okay, and then power it on. After you power it on, you will see on the two screens, on the front and in the back, the little settings icon, which means that the camera is updating the firmware. It should take around one or two minutes, and then the camera will prompt you that the GoPro Labs uh, firmware update was installed properly. Now, after that, there is one more step and then you, your issue is fixed. Let me show you what's the, 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 the following step. Now, I'm using an iOS device, uh, but it's the same app that you need to download for an Android device. The name of the app is QR Control and it looks like this. And here on the top side of the app, you have some tabs. As you can see, mode, protune, prefs, start, motion, speed, SPL. Where you need to go is to extra. And here in the tab feature for CC, you need to look for TUSB. What, is, what it means, it means trust USB power. That means the sum of the USB power sources may report less than they are capable. This modification assumes that the USB power source is two amps minimum and disable the testing, okay? On the input data, you have to have your, you need to have one and you need to uh, check the permanent box, which is right under input data. And then the application will generate this QR code. After you have downloaded your application and you have your QR code, you simply just power on your GoPro, point it to the QR code. You will be prompted with the signal, with the, with the beep, and that's it. The signal, the information that you have set here in the QR, uh, QR code app uh, before is now into your camera. Now, what I recommend to you is that you go to the general uh, settings of your GoPro and have a factory reset because it's very easy to turn back to your uh, previous video settings. But in this way, you are sure that you will have all your updates on your camera. And now let me make you, let me make a demonstration for you. So I will take out my GoPro. As you can see, it has no battery, it's empty, okay, and then I will take my very old Asus power bank, which doesn't even have 2.4 amps, like the Volta. I will connect it to my GoPro, I will power it on, and then the GoPro on. Now the GoPro is on, let me show it to you. You see me? Yes. No error, nothing. It's working and it's written no battery because it's normal, it has no battery inside, but the camera is working. But as I said, it was working before uh, without the media mod. Now let's try with the media mod. So let's take the media mod. 
I will put the camera inside. Okay, it has no, it has no battery. Okay, let me show it to you. Right? So I have no battery inside. I'll just simply put it in the media mod. Close the media mod. Open the port. And again, connect my old Asus power bank. Start the power bank. And press the power button of the GoPro. <laughs> and just like that, guys, it's working without any any problem okay if this thing focuses okay so no problem whatsoever it's working perfectly it says no battery if i press record it will start recording hey and now i can use my gopro with the media mod on, which for me is essential because i need to have the input of the microphone i need to have the input of this power bank to have the juice all day to film so with the gopro labs this problem was fixed i hope it helps at least one of you to solve your annoying problem with the gopro not wanting to film with anything else but the battery until next time stay safe and i hope the riding season started for you. Ciao.